the station for local community content is right here on Bob Arts TV. Mr. Dyer, uh, we have an elegant corridor. Is the visitors now going to the corridor? Not as much as you know there's a level of restriction as to movement. So the corridor is not being used as heavily as it normally should be. But I have no doubt as the restrictions are lifted that you're going to see that. By the way, the TF is going to improve that elegant corridor. It's now in on the drawing board. And we're going to spend a lot of money there to make it really elegant. And um, can you emphasize for Bob Arts Television where what where is the elegant corridor? That corridor starts at the roundabout at Kentucky and straight down to dead end. <laughs> It looked like Mr. Um, Godfrey Dyer is getting a little old. He seemed to be forgetting things lately. But let's see what he say about the Reggae Highway. We're riding on the Reggae Highway. My name is Asta Black, and I hope you're enjoying this little clip because I am proposing for this highway to be called the Reggae Highway. Join I, and don't let anyone, young or old people, you know, skew your mind as if reggae isn't the biggest thing on earth right now. The cultural music of the indigenous people, Rastafari. Watch it. Yeah, well, this is Kimani Mali representing for Falmouth United. And I am in support of the North Coast Highway being renamed the Reggae Highway, yeah? Reggae Highway to the world, North Coast, Jamaica, Rastafari. Up top. Little no, I'm sorry. The elegant corridor is airport roundabout. That's from your your highway. Your the Godfrey Dyer Boulevard. Yes, <laughs> yes. I was mixing it up with the history. And, and and by the way, the development I talked about is not the elegant corridor. It's the history. Thanks for the correction. Uh, the elegant corridor starts at the airport roundabout and goes straight out to IP or star. Could that be extended to Ocherius? One of these days it will. As a matter of fact, what, we, what TF has done, you would have noticed, those of you who drive in the nights, you would have seen these strips on the road. Easy to drive now. The, the um, TF has done that. From Ocherius to Montego Bay and the next leg is to Negril. So it's a gradual upliftment of, um, of joining up you know, I have I've been pushing for a long time for the North Coast Highway from Godfrey Dial Boulevard to Ocherius, like to Island Village, to be called the Reggae Highway. Would you endorse something like that? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Because a number of developments are to take place. I think we're going to have bypass of some of these places and all that. Let us see the developments take place first. We may name something too quickly and it becomes a back road. Godfrey Dyer, Chairman Tourism Enhancement Fund. How important is that uh, for you in Jamaica to be hosting events such as these? Extremely important because we are heavily dependent on tourism. 
that the more tourism we get, the more we will have an impact on the employment. So it's very significant. You know, I understand why Mr. Dyer would not sanction the North Coast Highway to be the reggae highway. Mr. Dyer was a policeman in 1963 or thereabouts. In 1963 and thereabouts, uh, reggae music could not be played on public radio station. We had to do it in the backyard around so. So I can understand as an ex-policeman, Reggae music is not important. So I am saying that it is time for Mr. Dyer to resign, retire, and take a break from tourism and leave tourism for, to young people. Let us run things. Because I have experience from Cornwall College to Martins, Jamaica, to owning my own travel agency in Chicago, Jamaica Connection Tours. And I know I watch reggae music being played in France by young artists like Protégé, Chronix, and look at the amount of people going out to reggae. Now, if the North Coast Highway is named the Reggae Highway, people coming from the Montego Bay Cruise Port, Falmouth Cruise Port, Ocherius Cruise Port, going to the Trelawney Multipurpose Stadium to watch concert in the daytime as reggae in the sun. Wouldn't that be beneficial to everyone along the highway? Plus, the employment that will go on there, from the singers to the engineer to the videographer to the stage planners, everyone, marketing, travel agency worldwide, 5,000 people will pack up inside the Trillon Stadium on any given day that the three cruise ports is loaded with cruise ships. Hey, the pandemic will be here with us forever, but wearing our mask and coming to and doing social distances at the Trelawney Stadium. Hey, it's an attraction. Show your show. 
same primary school yeah so big respect to coffee big respect to our mom big respect to our whole team for making our music reach to the people who should wish for it to reach to you know what i mean so run music So let us hold off a little, see what the nuclear effects are, and then we can determine. Yeah, yeah this is Muta Baruka here. He's saying that when that's the idea of the North Coast Highway, from Montego Bay to Ocho Rose, to be renamed the Reggae Highway, I reckon it dance. I said, I said, Ross Astor Black this morning on TV. The man was eloquent, clear, Winston. Winston. explicit, elegant, with knowledge wow. and wisdom. I was very proud. Very, very proud. Keep it going. They're going to learn to see your word come to pass. <laughs> Hi, this is Mrs. Astor Black. And I endorse the North Coast Highway to be the Reggae Highway. Bless it. Yeah, well, this is Kimani Mali representing for Falmouth United. And I am in support of the North Coast Highway being renamed the Reggae Highway, yeah? Reggae Highway to the world, North Coast, Jamaica, Rastafari, up top. So are you saying that because reggae is so important to tourism and um, so we want to name the right place for a uh, reggae highway. Uh, no, I'm not saying that. Reggae is extremely important. But it, but it doesn't mean naming a highway is because it's more important or lack of importance why you don't do it. It's just a matter of the practicality of it. You understand what I'm talking about now? It's like these old people who still run in tourism in Jamaica can't see the importance of our indigenous music. Older people in Jamaica who never like to see reggae music play on radio station or on Sundays in Jamaica still have the opinion that reggae music is not important. What do we do? We still keep them in tourism. Young people want to explore. Young people want to do things. Young people don't just want to sit on the side of the road because you run them out of the bush as a policeman. Young people want to get on stage. Young people want to reach out to the world like Shaggy, like Sean Paul. They're making money all over the world. They're doing things and every Jamaican youth want to do the same, both male and female. Reggae music is our indigenous music. Let's spread it. Don't look at it like it's not important. It's the money maker, it's the heartbeat of Jamaica, pulsating worldwide. Move out the way and let us do it. Rasa Stam back. Thank you for watching. Bob Arts Television. Love
someone to listen. Sit on. 